Been a, been a long night, been a long day, lots happened in a little amount of time, um, you know, emotional, and got a couple days before our next game, so it'll be an interesting couple days, and um, love Coach Fisher, respect the heck out of Coach Fisher, gave me a great opportunity to come coach on his staff, and I'm going to try to do my best to make him proud over the next three weeks. And I had a great chance to, you know, talk with him, spend about an hour with him. And he told me, you know, I'm going to help, help you with whatever you need so you guys can have the opportunity to win these next three games. Go out and do it. And uh, it happened fast. You know, I found out just about an hour before my special teams meeting. Talked to uh, Mr. Demoff, Coach Fisher. And they let me know that this was going to happen. Uh, I talked to Coach Fisher, you know, and basically asked what he thought. Asked for his blessing, you know, coach me up, coach Fish on what, what the next couple hours are going to be like. And uh, he told me everything that I needed to know, but <laughs> I know there's a lot more that is going to be into it than I'm prepared for. So um, I'll do my best to be great. Open up for questions. Coach, are you, are you a little in awe of all of this that's happened to you in just a matter of hours? I, you know, I wouldn't say I'm in awe of it. You know, I grew up a, a coach's son, so I understand hiring and firing and the emotions of it. Um, but the awe part may be that it happened so fast, and it was something that you, you weren't necessarily prepared for when, you know, we didn't go to sleep last night, so I can't say when I woke up this morning. Um, but it did happen fast, you know, and I guess football, you know, you got to be able to adapt and react. and. That's kind of one of these situations that uh, you can't really ever prepare for it. But a lot of you know, I got a great staff, you know, Coach Mack, Coach Williams, have been head coaches, so they'll be a great support staff to to help me make good decisions. Are you surprised that they came to you? Yeah. Why are you surprised they came to you? You know, I I'm in the I'm in the dungeon working on special teams. Day and night, and that's all I do. You know, I don't, I don't make the decisions that Coach Fisher or even, you know, sometimes the own coordinators have to make. Um, you know, my special teams, I've got a great group of young, scrappy, tough guys that, that play hard, you know, and whether they play well or not, you know, that's for people to determine, but they work their, their butt off, you know, so they gave me the opportunity. I was surprised. I'm grateful for it, although the situation isn't, you know, something that you want to be in, but um, they asked me to do it. Coach Fisher gave me his blessing, and I'll do it. Some of the players yesterday were kind of criticizing uh, each other about their lack of effort and everything. And you talked about your players and special teams playing hard. How do you sort of get that message now to the entire team to sort of pick up that energy, pick up that effort that might have been lacking uh, last couple weeks? Yeah, um, you know, I think after a game, everybody probably based on emotion, says some things. Maybe they, they regret or that aren't necessarily the truth. Um, but I told the guys just real quick after practice, I said, you know, um, if you love ball, you love Coach Fisher, that's got to be enough to get us through these next three weeks. You know, we got a job. We're all, all our jobs are on the line. And you love ball, you love Coach Fisher, that's got to get us through. You know, and if that's not good enough, then, then we shouldn't be out here. Well, you've been listening to John Fossil, the special teams coordinator, who has been promoted to the interim head coach, taking over for fired head coach Jeff Fisher of the Los Angeles Rams. And we wish him well. Yeah.